What is up, everyone? It's me and Gamer Lush, and playing uh, some more Final Fantasy. I just hit 59, and I'm going to check out the 59 quest, the first 59 quests you get for the main story line here, and let's see what's all this about. Uh, but before we start, I forgot to pour shots before the beginning of this thing, so I'll probably be doing that periodically during the show. The freshly popped top of Smirnoff, not the best, but yeah, it's it's a nice price, I guess you could say. You know, get get my favorite shot glass. Well, one of my favorite shot glasses. All right, and uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And let's hit that quest to sixty. Cheers. Oh. Ah, all right, Matoya Cave, Matoya's Cave. Oh. The cave in which Matoya resides is, is situated on the southern edge of the hinterlands. In, a chosen, in, chosen, in choosing the spot, my master desired privacy above all else. Hey, Demon Blade, how you doing? Doing good. I'm doing good, buddy. Uh, how's your day been? Uh, guys, um, I am live streaming at the same time I was recording this, so, you know, if I get a little off sack, I apologize. But, no, keep on coming in. Don't be afraid to come in and uh, discuss or chat or whatever. But thanks for coming in, Demon Blade. I appreciate it, buddy. I'm um, private above all else, and such the cave extremely well hidden. Uh, you'll not find it unless you know what uh, know to look for it. Uh, we shall follow this road south until we reach the bridge. Rather than cross it, however, we shall forward the sp uh, stream in its span. Tense straight, tense head straight until we arrive at the base of the bluff. I'm just starting it. Um, we're hopefully I can get to 60 by the end of this weekend. I'm hoping at least. But uh, let's go ahead and find Matoya's cave. Oh, shoot. I need to clean up these glasses I got here. Alright, so it looks like we're heading here. No, wait, oh, wait, no, I need to turn in that quest, and we're heading over to here. Oh, but I need to cross that span. Oh, nuts. Alright, well, still got a couple quests here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, boo. All right, all right. Let's get on our flying Bugatti. I am sipping on some vodka. It's Smirnoff, not the best. Meh. Gotta keep hydrated, so I'm drinking a sports drink. I'm not gonna advertise it because those jerks aren't paying me. You know, I shouldn't advertise Smirnoff. Those bastards didn't give me money. <laughs> Smirnoff, if you want to give me money to advertise, send it to Gamer Lush. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're heading south. Ah! I was, uh, I was waxing nostalgic on the crawlers here, um, talking about how I remember playing Final Fantasy XI, and um, the crawler's cave was one of the good camping spots at a certain level. I think it was... I know for I remember it for sure because that was when I first got refresh on my Red Mage. I was fa on Final Fantasy XI, and I, oh man! Once I got refreshed, there like right when you like logged on, people were like screaming at you. You want to join my party? You want to join a hunting party? Not even it's like whoa, whoa! Five minutes in, like dude, can I get established? I just had a hard day at my college classes. Yeah, I was I was in college at the time. Um, playing this game, and it was just college and Final Fantasy, and then Friday and Saturday nights I'd go out and drinking with my friends. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy ate up a whole lot of my free time. <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, you're damn right, Demi. You gotta stay hydrated, bro. As long as you stay hydrated, you don't get hangovers. Let's see here. Unless you just drink super too way way too much. <laughs> And I'm a professional drinker, kid, so don't try this at home. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Can I get across of there? These pink flamingo toucan sand mother effers. Whee! Okay, well, at least I can get... Ugh. Those sea, sea snakes don't look all too inviting. Um, I was a, I, when I was studying in college, I was a, I did computer technology at first, um, but I switched my major actually over to business, um, 
which I thought was a better kind of choice, you know. Um, <clears throat> at that point, I actually started my, a few couple of my own businesses. I only a, a t-shirt stand uh, during after, during college. Actually, it was a small little thing where I'd buy t-shirts at full sale and just sell them um, at the local flea market for you know just to help with tuition and my uh, livelihood at college. Because you know you. I didn't want to be one of those kids that kept asking for money for, from their parents. It's like, Mom, I need money. And you know, so uh, it, it helped me sustain and help pay for tuition. Um, after I got out of college, I opened a small salad, uh, salad bar um, uh, at the food court down at the downtown area here in Denver. Um, if, you're, if you're aware of the Denver downtown uh, down, uh, 16th Street Mall, it was the food court there. It was the Fresh Garden Salad Bar. Um, and... Then uh, I used that, you know, and basically kind of used that still and just took all management positions when um, from other jobs and stuff like that. All right. And now I'm trying to open my own business again. Um, I'm just waiting for the blue law here in Colorado to see if it passes or not. Because if it doesn't, that means I'm going to take my invest, uh, take uh, take out some loans and open my own liquor store. But anyway, you guys are, don't care. <laughs> I'm sitting there playing a video game, damn it. But I'll, if you guys are one, I'll talk about that later. Uh, this is it. This is the entrance. Hmm. You seem unconvinced, Subaki. Well, that will only um, well that will only add to the surprise. A word of warning before you proceed: stubborn geniuses make poor hosts, and at times will have done not to improve my master's temperament. Doubt, doubt, but uh, dot and out dot. Doubt not, but there will be sentinels and traps of both un uh, deter unwanted guests, but will not be defer defer deterred, will we? Go on and touch the wall yonder, and you want to have your weapons near at your hand. Okie dokie, so... Alright, um, let's get out. Chicken McNugget! Chicken! Chicken McNugget! Come on, Chicken Nugget, let's do this. <laughs> it would be nice. I don't know. Like I don't know. Like when YouTube starts to get really big, they do that draw your life thing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my like my goals right now at the time being. I love doing this as a hobby and um, putting up videos. Because uh, of course, this is this is not making me money whatsoever. But that's not why I do this. It's because I you know I just love playing Final Fantasies and sharing my thoughts and critiques about other games as well. Now we're gonna do this. Try oops. Try disaster. Bane. Bane! Yes! Bane! I will let you take all the dots. Then, you have my permission to die. <laughs> oh, yes, Batman. Don't look at the sun, Batman. It'll hurt your eyes. <laughs> I stopped doing that when I cast Bane. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm enjoying the crap out of this. Alright, so... You get attacked by frogs. I'm hoping this opens the door. Oh, oh, girl, you could have helped me. You better, you better be happy. I got my wizard hat on, and I'm magically delicious. <laughs> well, sentinels may uh, may suffice to discourage average test passers, but not the warrior of light. The way should be clear. Come, let us go see my master. Hmm. I have a feeling they'll probably release the samurai in the next expansion. They got a, they got a lot, of, they got, they got a big pool of classes that they can delve from. Hell, even Final, from most of these from Final Fantasy Tactics and just from the past Final Fantasy games. They, there's no way that. You know it's rude to enter without knocking. <laughs> the use of today, no manners at all. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. And the fact that this game is so Japanese centric that it's like it's impossible for them not add samurai into the game. It's like, oh, Matoya, she's in Final Fantasy One. Holy crap! I just now put the. We neglected to knock. We did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Holy crap! It didn't click until I saw her in the in the in the sweeping brooms. Oh shit! Nostalgia. Oh, <laughs> nostalgia bomb. <laughs> Heavy handed as ever I see, and still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. 
It's okay, my old mum. <laughs> to give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. <laughs> the one there in the fancy duds, that's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it. <laughs> that's the grandson. Uh. <clears throat> grandson, begging your pardon. <laughs> you knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? Ha! We were constantly at each other's throats. Like rabid dogs we were. Oh, he was our stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. Never a dull moment when he was around, though I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. <laughs> I like how they actually give, like, specific characters, like... Unique model designs and sound like kind of like on World of Warcraft where they just basically take a character you can create and just kind of like put a like maybe a new haircut on them or whatever. Uh, wish the machines could have been something like a duel. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I was kind of hoping they'd probably make more like a ranger class, but no. The machinist is a really cool class to play. You just gotta get through it. Um, higher levels like. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady. Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eorzea to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out of it. What is it you need of me? The sweeping broom. Oh, man. Oh my goodness, can we get that as a pet? Oh my god! <laughs> I need that in my life. I never thought I'd hear that name again. You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagon set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soir and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings, such as primals and dragons, and find ways it did too. I'm, I'm sorry, but I get too distracted by this adorable broom back here. <laughs> He's just sweeping away, just doing a little thing. Hey, little broom! What you doing over there? Nothing. I'm just sweeping. You have your epic talk with the old lady while I just sweep back here. <laughs> I know I'm an idiot. All right, that going on, whatever. Such secrets as lie buried on Aziz now aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Looks like. Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tease her. She's only like, well, then fuck it, man. Screw you, bastards. <laughs> ah, some things never change. One day that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. The frog's like, ribbit. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Cheers, guys. That was awesome. Some wax nostalgia. The adorable little broom. I hope that make that a pet one day. Oh, my God. I need to look at this thing. Oh, my God. It's so tiny adorable. Straightforward broom. <laughs> I need this thing in my life. Give it to me. Love sweeping. Oh, hold on. It's, I remember this. So, love sweeping. Let's uh, let's sweeping love. Wait. Or, wait so, love sweeping. Let's... Uh... Swish, swish, aru. Oh, I'm despectable. Uh, I'm despect. Yeah, 
disrespectful to dust. Can you see that I'm serious? Oh, okay. <laughs> I need this in my life. Can I, please tell me someone in the comments or in, in the in the chat. Can I get this broom as a pet? I need this broom I, right now, like in my life. <laughs> oh, you get a quest from the frogs here. Cool. All right, uh, let's do the first quest and we'll call it a, we'll call it a show. Matoya is in the mood of, to reminisce, guys. Cheers. Ooh, are we have to get a crystal from Peggy the Pirate. It was um, fifty years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. Faced with the threat of invasion, the people of Charlian scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part. I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research, lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. Ha! Huh. Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. <laughs> I like how her, her nice her hair is for how old she is. <laughs> Do mine ears deceive? Was you, was it not, who was so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind? That how it is used depends on us. I don't remember. <laughs> Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. That's why I decided to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the Etheric Converger? No! I'm old! <laughs> Get Peggy the pirate! <laughs> I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the Great Library. Oh, God. Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. Oh shit. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. Alright, we're gonna unlock the unlock the dungeon? Unlock the great library? Let's rock. I love my wizard hat. That's why I need that broom. Uh-oh. Stolen and the boy are staying with me. What? I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. <laughs> They'll be bored and lodging. Don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. Uh-oh. She's like, God damn it. It's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> Fucking shit. What the hell? Okay, so I guess I'm going... This is so cool. Oh, she needs a crystal ball on her on her uh, desk, though. That that would make it. That would complete the whole uh, mystique and the whole nostalgia trip there. Oh, the great library guardian should pose a difficult for a hero like you. You hardly notice the Chateau's absence, and the girl boy, whatever, will only get in your way. <laughs> but if it turns out you aren't able up to the task, well then, I know you can't be trusted with something as dangerous as the Alcott Ram. Now, the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll loan you one of my servants to open it. The br oh my God! The broom yonder. <laughs> the broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, girl. Yes, yes. Be my companion. Be my pet. Love gets me sweeps. Swoop, swoop, swoop. 
Uh, wait a minute. Speak with the enchant- Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, oh, over here. Oh. Yes! Give me this broom! Greetings, good ma- good madam. I am Broomsy. My lady servant of uh, uh, some fifty years. May I say what an honor it is to serve you? I give you- I've given to understanding that you wish to enter the great Goob Goob All Library. Yeah, I, I just I just hit sixty, buddy. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, so to find it, pray head east upon leaving the cave. The building will come into view shortly after you reach the collapsed bridge. I shall go ahead and wait for you at the entrance. When your preparations are in order, pray come and meet me here. There, it will be my pleasure to unlock the door for you. Please be my pet. No, please be my pet. I need that broom as my pet. Oh my God. It's like, Lush, calm down, bro. No, I must have the broom. <laughs> um, we're going to pick up this quest just in case I forget it. Um, so that's common life. Oh, shit, we got a cutscene with him, too? I'm like, Ribbit, I ain't having this shit. Woe is me, Ribbit. Mr. Smitoya will have my hide. You, you are our guest, and yet you would lend your aid to me your aid. Oh, thank you, kind strange adventurer. I'm in your debt. Oh, God, natural light. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right, if you guys watch Dragon Ball Bridge, you probably get that joke. Permit me to introduce myself, Ribbit. I am Saro Rago, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. I am tasked with picking leaves from her herb garden, from which I make her tea. Alas, draw her medic medicinal properties. Bugs have recently taken into ravishing the herbs. I attempt to get rid of the pests, but they are too much f for the lone porogoro and to handle. I would be grateful if you would at would eliminate them from my stead, Ribbit, so I can unlock your hidden potential. <laughs> Nail! Nail! <laughs> what is it, Lord Guru? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, uh, let's, let's see where this entrance is and I'll cut it there. Alright, let's see, heading out from the Toys Cave. Wow, these guys need a lot. I saw a bird. That is all. Alright, so that's over here. Can I go? Uh, I'm gonna follow the waterways. Let's find this thing. Oh! Maybach! Let's go! Get on my Maybach. I'm a Maybach. I'm a Maybach. I'm riding on my sofa. I strapped on a behemoth. And I call it my Maybach. Wiki wiki wiki. Let's see here. Keep going. <laughs> Big green. <laughs> Get in here. We'll call you little green. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see here. Um. Will I get it from here? Maybe? Question mark. Is that the oh? Is that the Grand Library? Is that come? Cause that was that that thing. That was the building in the bitch mark test, wasn't it? All right, climbing up the ivory stairs. Ooh, that's a dead octopus, a cephalopod. That is one dead cephalopod. All right. Uh, yeah, this has gotta be it. Okay, cool. We've got more crazy looking cephalopods here. Don't hurt me. I'm just kind of get through. Just kind of get some knowledge. That's it. Yeah, right. We did it. We found it, guys. The great Google Google Library. The great Google, or as my friend calls it, the great Google Library. <laughs> you stand before the great Google Library. One of the highly, highly most uh, foremost repository of knowledge. 
Alas, it has been to discuss since the exodus, some summer since, and all of those years, in its halls have welcomed not the coming of a single soul. Its folds felt not a loving brush of the broom. Shut up, I hate you. Get the hell out of here. I hate you. Damn it. <laughs> I hate you. Havoc always likes to, to tease me with his pets. I hate him. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much. Now that Havoc has basically rubbed the face of the fact that he get the broom. So, it, at least I know I get the broom pet. That's all I care about. I'm going to get it eventually. That's all that matters. I'm going to keep my witch hat and my broom. So, suck it, world. I don't even know who I'm telling you to suck it, but I'm just saying so. But you know what? That's all right. We're, next video, we're going to end it a great Google library. And, yeah, we're going to see how it goes from there. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And, as always, raise your glasses. If you liked your time with me, please leave a like. Subscribe, leave a comment below, and as always, cheers and game on. And those, that broom is adorable.